Hello lamp. Hello bed. Hello radiator. Hello light switch. Hello camera. Is this thing on? You might think that you have to drive a monster truck through the desert or wrestle with a bear in the wild to win best film this year. But Room is probably the smallest and also the most imaginative entry. Directed by Lenny Abrahamson and adapted from Emma Donoghue's best-selling novel, Room is a harrowing but uplifting tale of Jack, a five-year-old boy, and his mother, Ma, who live in a sealed 10-square-foot room by themselves with only a grainy television for company. Do you remember how Alice wasn't always in Wonderland? She fell down, 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 deep in a hole. Right, well, I wasn't always in room. I'm like Alice. I was a little girl named Joy. Nah. And, and I lived in a house with my mom and my dad. You would call them grandma and grandpa. What house? A house. It was in the world. This tiny cell is Ma's hell, and Brie Larson brilliantly underplays her stress, fear, and frustration. But it's also Jack's entire universe. Her nightmare and his fairy tale exist side by side in the frame. You see room through Jack's wide-eyed wonder, and he finds the magical within the sinister. He gives names to the household items and dilapidated old furniture. He even has an eggshell snake under the bed. And a lone skylight in the ceiling is his window to the rest of the world, which he believes only exists on TV. For five years, you made life in that small room, that prison, as nurturing and normal as you could. <gasps> Ultimately, this is very dark, realistic material. But Abrahamson and Donahue's lightness of touch take it outside the realm of your average white knuckle crime thriller. Room's focus is on the parental bond and the strength of the human spirit. It's fair to say that Jake Trembler, who plays Jack, is pretty incredible, as are the details about how his character adjusts to life on the real world outside and how to deal with real freedom. If you don't clutch your chest when he sees the wide open sky for the first time or feels the wind in his hair, or feels a floor that isn't Room's cold, hard boards, then your soul probably needs a checkup. Essentially, what makes Room so great? Well, apart from the brilliant performances, the heart-wrenching soundtrack, the spacious cinematography, it's just how life-affirming it is, and not in a cheesy Hollywood kind of way. I see windows, and hundreds of cars, and birds, and Grandma and Grandpa. Jack, someone here would like to meet you. Oh, oh, oh. No, he will never find us. The filmmakers describe it as a love story. It's just not the traditional kind, blurring emotions and genres together until it becomes something else entirely. Can you say the same of Mad Max or The Revenant? No, didn't think so. At the Oscars, there's no such thing as a sure thing. Forrest Gump, Shakespeare in Love, Crash, these films weren't supposed to win Best Picture. This year, the smart money's on The Revenant, or Spotlight, or The Revenant. 